Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is an overcast Saturday and I am hitting the yard sales. So lucky for me, there are two home gains in town, really three. Um, there is a community wide yard sale in my subdivision as well as the subdivision that is like a block away from me. And then there is also a citywide yard sale which is being held at our local park. Now, the problem with the citywide yard sale is I have gone to this in the past and typically more than half of them are vendors, which is super sucky, but you never know when you're going to stumble upon a really good yard sale table. So depending on how the neighborhood yard sales go, I may or may not end up at the citywide sale. All right, guys, let's hit those two subdivision wide yard sales and keep your fingers crossed. I really don't want to go to the citywide yard sale. Okay, so on this table is a ton of sparring equipment, and I believe that it is all kid-sized. At least it looked to me to be kid-sized. When I pulled up the comps, they were kind of all over the place, and I don't know enough about the stuff to know whether it was a good pickup or not. The prices that she had seemed very reasonable, but I ended up opting to pass just because I didn't want to take a chance on something that I didn't know and particularly something that was going to take up a lot of storage in my inventory. Good, how are you doing? That's good. Found some good stuff today? Not yet. I mean, it's been. It's still early. It is. Yeah. It is still early to be out there. Jeez Louise.
Whoopsies. Oopsies. Excuse me, how much are your clothes? Uh, a dollar okay. for the pants and shirts, and then two dollars for the jacket. Thank you.
Welcome back to the haul. So for everything that I'm going to show you, I paid exactly $83. And I think I did pretty good. There's a couple of things the jury is still out on that, I don't know, might have been bad pickups. But everything was so cheap. I went to the two subdivision wide yard sales that were near me. The one that was like a block away was awful. I only found one sale. And so then I just came right back to my neighborhood and I did the best in my own neighborhood. I should have started out here. Everything that I'm about to show you for the next few minutes is all from the same yard sale. And I paid exactly $20 for everything that I'm pulling out of my big Ikea bag. I know you can't see my bag from there, but trust me, I did pretty good. So first I'm going to start with the clothes. I got this men's medium Southern Mars shirt. I think they sell for like maybe $17 or $18 pre-owned. This is in really, really good condition and um, it's a size medium so my husband claimed it right out of the gate. So that is not going to be for resale, but all of her clothes were only a dollar a piece except for jackets. Jackets she charged two bucks each. Okay, I only picked these up because they are new with tags and they are in a slightly bigger size. These are Alfred Dunner the Allure pants and they seem to do okay I can't remember if it's like 15 or 20 dollars for new with tags their original retail price was a 48 bucks so again when the clothes are only a dollar I take a lot more questionable things exhibit a a lucky brand tank now I liked that it is in a size large and it is new without tags plus it's tie-dyed Probably won't get much more than 10 bucks for it, but that's okay. It's the season for tanks, so I was willing to do that. This, I shouldn't have thrown in there. I, I was, <laughs> the dollar of piece got me. The fact that everything was a dollar got me. Oh, this looks like it's got a spot on it. Oh, it does. This is going to go in the donate pile, but it's a cute little, what do they call those rash guard bathing suits? I thought it was cute anyway. Um, but it's too big for my granddaughter. So this is like a size five, I think. This is a size five to six. So, but really, really cute. Somebody will like it. All right, I only grabbed these H&M jeans because they were brand new with tags for a dollar. They are in a size 12. Um, I didn't even look up the comps, probably 10 to $15, I'm guessing. Okay, she had a bunch of Miss Me jeans for $10. And so this is a pair of boot cut, and they're all in like awesome, awesome condition, hardly used. Then this pair is straight leg, and I'm not unfolding them or anything. Um, these two are both in a size 32, so a halfway decent size. And then these, uh, these are rock and revival jeans, which I'm so stupid, I was looking them up as miss me rock and revival jeans i thought they were by the same company and they might be because they look identical but these should go slightly higher i'm thinking these will go probably around the 40 dollars mark maybe a little bit less these should go somewhere between 20 and 30 dollars each so for a dollar a pair not a bad flip at all this is um a nike new without tags i think it's called the ko something something sweatshirt and I want to say it's dry fit. Yeah, it is dry fit. It is in a size large. And like I said, new without tags. So this will probably go for 20 bucks. Easy. Maybe higher. That would be nice. I grabbed these because they're vintage. Oh, wait, this is a jacket. So this is a vintage jacket. It's Nike, the athletic department. Should go for around 20 bucks, but I only paid $2 for it. And then I picked up these pants because I thought they were matchy matchy, but no, no dice. They're um, a different shade of navy blue, but these are in a size extra large. Um, and these should go probably around 15 to $20 also. Um, and these are also vintage. I don't know if I can list these as color block when there's only one block there, but um, I don't think I'll have any problem getting rid of these, especially because they're um, both in a size extra large. And just like women's, the bigger sizes tend to do better for me. 
I'm a slave to Ralph Lauren. This is in awesome condition and it's vintage. It is a size small. What I can't figure out is if it's a woman's size small or a men's size small. And it looks like really small. So I'm gonna have to do the measurements and see what it comes out to. Um, but I thought that was pretty for a buck. Um, I would not have grabbed this had it not been new with tags. Size extra large, Brooke Brothers, funky little polo shirt. I would think this would go for between um, 10 and $15. Now, I got a ton of Columbia PFG shirts because they were all in really, really good condition. And in a men's size extra large, they are all the PFG branded on the back and they all are vented. I'm not gonna unfold them all because they're a pain in the butt to fold up. So I got this in khaki green and a solid, solid khaki green, solid gray, then solid aqua. And then I got this one, which is called bonehead or something. Super bonehead in a plaid. So what I'm not sure of is if I'm going to lock them all up together. So let me know what you would do in the comments. I don't know. Um, and I thought of putting all the solids together and doing the plaid separate, but that sounds, that seems stupid. Maybe I'll do two and two. I don't think I'm going to do all four. I don't know. Then this Tommy Bahama I picked up because of fiber content. It is a hundred percent silk and it is in a size large. It looks like it was hardly worn at all. Um, now these don't do what they used to. So maybe I'll get 15 bucks for this, but again, a dollar. I shouldn't have thrown this in. Um, but I did. So this is a marmot, um, raincoat, but it's doing what those raincoats do, which is peeling the liner peels. I know the North face do this as well. So I don't know if I'll get even $10 for this. I have to do a little bit of a deeper dive on the comps because there are different variations of the raincoats and I really don't know which one I've got. Okay. I also grabbed this phone, um, for two bucks and it is brand new. It's got, it's still in the plastic and everything. I've sold those phones before and they do really well. Um, then I got three pair of shoes. These were a terrible pickup. Shoes were all $2 each. Um, these are slightly used. They are in a size six and these do not move. I think there are only one pair, maybe one pair sold, maybe two pairs sold. And they sold like horribly, horribly low. Uh, but these are a six and I'll be real honest with you. They are super comfy. So I don't know. I don't, I'm not going to wear them out, but these might be my new slippers because they are really, really comfy with that faux shearling inside. I got these Toms and these do okay. And these are brand new without the box. Um, and they are in a size eight, I think, but really nice, really nice suede, very comfy with the faux shearling on the inside. And then these were a really good pickup. Now they're disgusting, but they're in really good condition other than being dirty. So I'm just going to take my toothbrush to them in the sink, clean the snot out of these. I found a sold for a pair of these for 50 bucks. Um, that might be an outlier. I don't know. I mean, I hope not, but even if I get like 25 to 30 bucks, that is not a bad flip. And then probably one of my favorite pickups was this. I just threw this in just because it's Harry Potter and it turns out these really sell well, especially when they're new and in the package. And by well, I just mean I paid a dollar for it. And so it'll probably flip for somewhere between 20 and $24. Okay. So that's everything that I got at that one sale for $20. Okay. There was one sale that I went to that I did not have my GoPro turned on for just because I was sick of GoProing. So, um, and I didn't really anticipate that I was going to buy anything, but I did find this Kakadu, Kakadu Traders Australia, in a size extra, extra large. It is kangaroo leather, which made me just a little bit sad. And it has a little bit of like dirt on it, but I really feel like I can get that off with a wipe. Um, but I've never heard of this brand before. When I looked at the comps, they this 
type of hat can go for anywhere between $20 and $50. So um, I'm not really sure exactly what it's going to bring in, but it is a size extra, extra large. So I was happy to pick that up. For five bucks, I got two bags of Sharp accessories, Sharp um, vacuum accessories. I have had no idea what I was picking up, but I know Kayla, the homeschooling picker, always sells um, parts. Like she parts things out. She'll sell parts of mixers and parts of vacuums. And so I figured, well, I might as well give it a shot. So this has got a hook and it's got some of these like little attachments, but then it has some of the motorized attachments. Dadgum it, it's like all hooked together. Okay, so one of them is this shark motorized brush and none of these attachments have ever been used. And then the other is this like floor mop attachment, which comes with a new floor pad. So I priced them out separately. Honestly, I think I'm probably just going to lock them together and just get them out. Um, I have to take a little bit more of a deeper dive to see, you know, can I really increase my profit tremendously by parting them out? Because if it's just by a little bit, just like a $10 difference, no girl, this is going to go all together and just be done with it. But I shall see. I already have enough dishes in my death pile. I picked up these dance hand-painted plates because they are too pretty to leave behind. Now he had the whole set. So he had the big bowl, the big platter. He had a dip, like a three, three sectioned dip thing. He had mugs and there was no way. I mean, I still haven't even listed all of that Noritake. And by not listed all of it, I mean, I only listed the bowls. So I have got to get my act together. Summer's coming though, and I'll be able to go through my death pile and get a lot more stuff listed. But for now, I am going to get these listed. This is gonna be the first thing I list. So there are eight of them all together. And I think I can probably sell them in lots of four for maybe 25 to $30 per lot. There is one lot of four that sold, but they are brand new. I paid $2 for these dance goes. And these seem to have a little bit of a decent sell-through rate. They, um, and there are only about 10 of them listed and probably five of them sold. So a little bit better than some of the other dance go slides that I have purchased. They are in a size seven and a half, size 38. So I guess that's an eight. Um, and the only wear is on the heels. You can see a little bit of wear and this leather is super, super soft. So I'm hoping I can get about $25 for these. All right, I did buy two purses. So I paid $7.50 for this Relic purse because it was new, because I looked inside and it was all new inside, but now I've been looking at the bottom and I don't know if it's new or maybe that's just from being on display in the store. I mean, it doesn't have tags or anything, I don't know. And I also cannot find that it says that it's leather, which means I'm assuming that it's not leather. So not my finest pickup. She gave me both of these bags for 15, so 750 a piece. This one though is better. So this is a Michael Kors. It's in really good condition. I mean, even the bottom is in really awesome shape. And this one should sell between $35 and $40 easily. The inside is nice and clean. And hopefully hopefully $30 to $35 then. Alright, this lady sold me all of these things for $6. And I thought, and she's like, it's new Cricut stuff. This is not a Cricut mat. This is like a cheapo mat. These are used, so that's goodbye. This is clearly used, goodbye. Now the rest of them are new, two mats, and then three like decorative packs. So for sure, for sure, I am gonna lot these suckers together. I'll probably stick this one in there too, but the comps were lackluster to say the least. I would have, I'm surprised, because I would have thought Cricut stuff would really move, but I don't know why I'm thinking that, because I didn't take the time to look up the comps. Had I done so, I would know that they do not really move that fast. This is Snow Village. 
Department 56 Corner Drugstore. This is $19.95, so it's not quite vintage. So it's just the corner um, drugstore, but it is in fabulous condition. I mean, look at the bottom. Look at how immaculate that looks. Here's the plug. Is it? Oh, no. I'm happy like, oh, it's still sealed. It's still sealed. No. Nope. But at least it came with the plug. Trust me, I've bought plenty of them without the plug. Now, it doesn't have the box. But I don't think that's going to be an issue because I think the, the better part of it is that it has the um, styrofoam because it, it'll be protected in shipping. So I'm thinking, like I said, I paid 10 bucks for this, but um, I think that I should definitely be able to get maybe $40 for it. I also picked this up. Um, she gave this to me for less than two bucks only because it was new with tags. However, there are a bunch of them listed. None are sold. I'm still going to list mine because you just never know. Then I bought all of these little shoes for 25 cents because I looked up, see, 25 cents. I thought I took all these stickers off. Apparently not. I looked up this one brand of shoe thinking all of them were this brand of shoe. And this is called the, um, just the shoe. No, just the right shoe. I don't even know if you can see that on the bottom. Well, guess what? This is the only one that that's, is that brand. So this one is Vintage Japan, and it is like a ceramic, but there's a bunch of them listed, and none of them sold. And then the rest of them are different brands. Two, or maybe three, no, two are Nostalgia. Then two are My Treasure. Where's the other My Treasure one? Here it is. So these two are my treasure. I don't even know if you can see those stamps on the bottom. And then there, there's one, two, three, four that are Young's. And I'm guessing Young's is like akin to Dollar Tree because I really can't find any on there. And then there's two that are Cornerstone Creations. If I had these all just the right shoe, that would have gone for probably about 40 to $50. But alas, they are not. So I think I'm just going to lot them all up together in one big lot of teeny tiny shoes. And then the last thing that I'm going to show you is I bought this huge lot of these Vex Robotics. And I just looked at it quickly. She charged me $5 for all of it. And when I did a quick search of VEX Robotics, these all seem to sell really, really high. However, I think I got not one of the sets that sells really high, so I still have to really kind of lay it all out, see what pieces I've got, and try to figure out what package I got. So I got everything that's in this bin, and then I got this as well. I'm not going to open this up, but this is the... Um, forklift ball machine. But these things do not seem to sell very high. Like I found some of these that were listed for like 10 bucks. So this one might have been a wah wah. Um, like I said, jury is still out, but I'm going to take it all apart, take pictures, Google lens the snot out of it and see what I come up with. Okay guys, that's everything for this thrift with me video. As always, please hit the subscribe button down below, throw us a comment, hit the like button, and I'll catch you next time. Bye, guys.